So the first feature I want to cover here is the feature I honestly think is probably going to be the most useful, and that is the texting feature. Well, one of the most annoying parts about texting on your computer, if you had a Mac and an iPhone device, is you could only text people that had other iPhones and have that go through iMessage. With the release that happened today, which is October 20th, which is 8.1, iOS 8.1, uh, when you update your phone, it's going to ask you when you go into iMessages on your computer if you would like to forward SMS messages. If it doesn't pop up immediately, just close down the messages on your computer and uh, and then open it back up again and a little push notification will come through and it's going to ask you to type in a passcode that that will show you on your computer and key that into your phone. It's pretty self-explanatory once that little process pops up. And then once you do that, it actually is forwarding your messages from your phone uh, to your computer, which in my opinion can make texting much, much easier. If you watch the, the great video by, by Tom Ferry above, uh, and he's recommending for you to go ahead and, and text that out to a number of different people, uh, it can make that process a lot faster and a lot easier by doing it right here on your computer. Uh, what else is really great about that is if you have pre-written text, maybe in a Word file uh, or in another place, you can have, uh, have that Word file or have that document file with your pre-written text there and then simply just do a copy and paste and start, and start texting uh, a lot of people at once directly from your computer. Not necessarily at once, but just automating the process. A couple things I want to point out here. Um, I have my dad's phone number typed in here. It turned green. That means it is not an iMessage. My dad has an Android device, so uh, I use that as an example, and it turned green up on the top. If you bring up someone else's text and it's blue, of course, that's the, that's the normal old iMessage. Previously, this would actually just be red, and it would let you know that you could not test that, or could not text that person. Uh, so that's the texting feature. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the texts go back and forth from the mobile device to, uh, to the desktop. Let's move on to the phone feature. Okay, so the next feature here would be the call handoff too. So while you're sitting here at your desk and you're on your laptop or desktop computer, if anyone dials your mobile phone, uh, the mobile phone will actually ring through through uh, to your computer. And your mobile phone could be in your pocket, it could be in your purse or somewhere else. And what's nice about it is you can actually answer the phone on your computer. I'm sure if you had a headset, it might sound better. I don't really have uh, that much to go off of based on the, the sound quality. But um, from what I tried so far, everyone said it, it sounded pretty darn good. And there's a great example. So my wife is calling me. I can choose to accept or decline, and I have some of the other options underneath here. Um, and just by hitting accept, I can now talk to her. So the third and final feature I think is going to be super handy uh, because there's a, a billion times where I know I needed to use something like this, uh, and it, it just makes the process a little bit more seamless. And that's basically uh, making your mobile phone a hotspot rather than taking out your mobile phone and going through the settings and and waiting for it to finally show up on your, your Wi-Fi on your computer, which for some reason it always took a long time for me. Uh, now when you just go to the Wi-Fi on your computer, the personal hotspot's always going to be there if you have an iPhone device and, and a Mac laptop, uh, and you can just click on it. You never even have to touch your phone or, or take your phone out. So uh, the instant hotspot will be available. It's still not available, I don't think, for people that have unlimited data plans. So you do need to have a uh, limited data plan um, for it to work, uh, but so far it seems to be working pretty darn well. So those are the three features I want to mention to you. Uh, I really do think the text messaging feature is great and the Wi-Fi feature is great. For the phone calls, I guess it just depends on uh, how busy you are and if you like making phone calls from your computer. But, but definitely at least two out of three in my opinion right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.